Hello and welcome back to the complete day trading course by Wealthy Education. In this video, how to use Bollinger Bands to buy low and sell high. So the Bollinger Band is an indicator that is based upon the two standard deviations. And if you remember your math classes, two standard deviations on the bell curve looked something like this. Uh, you know, 2.5% above and 2.5% below of trading or numbers in a number set, uh, averages or whatever, would be out of the two standard deviations. So the idea is, is 95% of the time you're going to be trading in this area. And that's what the Bollinger Band tries to predict. So how does it do it? Well, as I put the indicator on, you'll see it's an overlay. You'll see there's a line in the middle, and that line is a 20 SMA. So 20 moving average, standard moving average. Simple moving average uh, over the last, in this case, 20 hours, the average closing price. That's why it says close there. And then two, two standard deviations. All of this can be adjusted, but this is a standard layout. So when you look at the indicator, um, the first thing that you're going to pay attention to is the moving average. So this 20 SMA shows that we are in an uptrend. So what does that mean? That means that you only want to buy in this scenario. And the idea is that occasionally markets get a little out of kilter. And in this case, we closed outside of the two standard deviation. And well, that's too expensive. So we came back down to the SMA and bounced from there. You would not be concerned about the markets being overbought until you closed outside of the two standard deviations. So your entry is 95, your exit is about 97 and a half. You know, nice little trade. Um, you're going with the trend. The thing that I would say about Bollinger Bands, though, that is absolutely vital is you need to pay attention to the slope of the, the line. Now, this is slightly positive, but it's not positive enough to make it interesting. And this is a sideways, choppy, nothing market. And that's exactly how it should be treated. You'll notice that the Bollinger Bands get very skinny. And that shows a lack of volatility. And if you think about it, it makes sense. The 20 SMA and two standard deviations in both directions isn't going to be very spread out when price hasn't been moving. After this earnings call, you can see that we shot straight up in the air and the Bollinger Bands exploded. In this case, um, you know, we continue to see an uptrend for quite some time. Uh, there is two standard deviations to the downside. And even if you didn't take that, and fair enough, you probably wouldn't have. You have a daily close out here. You had an entry off the 20 SMA. You closed out here. So at that point, um, you're a little overbought. So what do you do? Well, most traders will take their profit right there and leave it at that. You're still in an uptrend, but you pull back all the way to here. You form a hammer. You break back into this area. The slope is still positive, has been for a while. You could get in and get out there. And you can see that you can just boom, 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 boom all the way up. Um, when you look at this chart, there are some pullbacks occasionally. Um, but that's for people who are comfortable going counter trend because even if the uh, Bollinger Bands turn down here, you have to look at the longer term charts and decide, you know, am I in an uptrend or am I in a downtrend? Well, you in an uptrend. That would have been somewhere around here. So you'd been in an uptrend for a minute. Even though you have some pullbacks occasionally like this, you're still in an uptrend. So definitely you want to keep the longer term trend in mind. Some people will get a little bit cute with these things and they'll just simply buy and sell on both sides when we reach those levels. And that's fine, uh, especially on closing outside of it, but it doesn't always work. You know, like everything else, there is no magic bullet. You can say that you sell here and then you buy again when you close outside of it. You sell here. You buy again when you close outside of it, which you're still waiting for that on this chart. Um, you got overbought again, so you you could say I'd sell it again. 
But again, you did not have the clothes outside. So that's the problem with playing both sides, quite frankly. Um, it's much easier to play the oversold condition in a longer term uptrend than it is anything else. So that, with the longer term trend, tends to work out quite nicely. Thank you very much. Uh, as you would expect, it's all about following the longer term trend. Never forget that. That's the one thing I want you to take away from this course more than anything else. Uh, yes, at this point you are overbought, but look how overbought you get. You go back into two standard deviations and you get out here. So from there to there could have been the entire trade instead of just getting out right away. And the way you feel comfortable doing that is going with the longer term trend because these areas here that I had mentioned previously, while technically overbought, it's still in an uptrend and it can stay overbought for quite some time. Oversold in an uptrend, like this buying opportunity here, totally different scenario. So keep that in mind. Again, make sure you're with the longer term trend. Make sure the SMA is moving with the longer term weekly charts or at least daily charts. And it tends to keep you out of trouble. Up next is Module 3, Profitable Chart Patterns for Day Trading. 